Are you like me? Do you have tons of external hard drives full of years worth of pictures and videos from vacations, festivals, just anything and everything? Well, if you are and you're like me, then you need to start today and get into stock photography and videography because those pictures and videos are worth real money. And I'm going to show you how today to get started with Shutterstock so you can turn those old assets into real money today. So as we navigate over to Shutterstock's website, there are two primary ways First is just going to Shutterstock.com, scroll in all the way to the bottom, and click Become a Contributor. If you want to cut out this middle step, you can just go to Submit.Shutterstock.com, or you can use the link in the description down below. Full disclosure, if you use the link below, I do get a small commission of $0.04 cents if you would sell any photographs. Once you get to the submit shutterstock.com, it's going to ask you to create an account. Username, password, email, and 18 years old. Once you do that, it will send an email to your email that you've listed, and you have to verify it. Once you've done that, you'll come back, log in to Shutterstock. You've successfully verified your email. Shutterstock is going to request that you upload several photos for approval. Again, you only need one at this point to be approved to start to submit. Once you've been approved, and this process usually is pretty quick, there are several ways to upload more images to Shutterstock. The first is when you just log in. You'll go to Upload Images, and you can drag and drop your files directly on to the website, and it will load them. You can also select multiple files that you have. I'm going to select these four. It'll go through. It'll take some time to upload. Once that process is finalized, and this could take a while if you're uploading multiple images, you will hit next and it's going to load your files for you to start to edit. You'll just simply click on one of them. You'll want to go over to the description, image type. It's going to be a photo, commercial use, as there are no logos or individuals that would need a release that I don't have one for. If it would, it would be an editorial. You can go into then from there, you go into the description. I already put in a description in Lightroom, so that's automatically loaded that for me. If not, you would put in a description yourself. Go in, you'll select the category or categories. You can select multiple. In this case, I'm just going to select nature for this particular photo. Here under more options is if you were shooting adult content. I'm not, so we won't go into that. Releases, that goes back to if you would want to use something for commercial content that would have recognizable people, logos that you would need a model or property release for. You'd go in and add it from there. Next, you're going to go in and select keywords. I've already built in keywords again in Lightroom prior to this, but you would just type them in. Nature background, it will give you several to pick from. Generally, my recommendation is that you pick at least 25 unique keywords, but you can choose all the way up to 50. They'll even go in give you more suggested to add if you're having trouble. At this point, once everything's done, you'll go in and you will submit the photo. After it's submitted, it will go to content review by Shutterstock, and you'll get an email letting you know if it's been approved or not, usually within 24 to 48 hours. It's very quick. So that's option one of how to load con to. Second way, is to use a FTP uploader, such as Xpix. I did a full video, which you can find here. So once we launch Xpix, or to simply add files that you're ready to use, and it's going to load them all nicely. So as we work through, title, description, suggest keywords. When you click on that, 
You'll be able to search from all images, photos, vectors, illustrations. And on the right side, you can pick from, do you want to search from Shutterstock, iStock, Fotolia, or local files. But once you click search, it's going to go out to, in this case, Shutterstock, and bring in all images that have that particular phrase on it. Go through and click on a few of them. I like to pick the ones that are kind of similar overall. It's going to give you the suggested keywords and that's what all these photos are going to have in common for words that have already been. Then you'll click add suggestions and it's going to add all of those back into the keywords. So once you have all of the photos, you're going to go ahead and you're going to select all four of them. It's going to want you to then save this information and export those to the file. Once you've saved, which is the little down arrow, you're going to be ready to upload them. The little cloud icon with an arrow and it's going to bring up it's going to bring up all of your different stock agencies that you've built in and click start upload. And it's that simple. Uploading images from Shutterstock Contributor app is quite easy. When you open the app, you'll go to the little up arrow icon. It'll bring up any that you've previously uploaded, either through the web page or through an FTP uploader like the XPix. From there, you hit the little plus icon in the top left corner. It'll bring up your photos for you to select which ones you want to upload. Then when you go back and it's uploaded them, and it takes a couple seconds, you'll click on it. When it comes up, you'll enter the description, the keywords, the category, additional information such as editorial, illustration, or adult, attach any releases, then you'll click save and submit. Setting up and contributing to Shutterstock is just that easy. Whether it be that you use their online submitter in a client uploader like Xpix, which you can watch the full video of my demonstration there, or even using the mobile app. It's very easy to use. It's worth time to go through that hard drive to see if you're setting on any cache from the pictures you've taken. Get started today. Remember, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing for money. And if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't, the other one's for that. And I appreciate it and look forward to seeing you on the next episode.